Hi, welcome to another video of You Can Do STEM. My name is Carlos Perez. I'm an MD-PhD student at the University of Minnesota. And today we are going to be talking about the MCAT. And the MCAT is the Medical College Admission Test. Um, I'm an MD-PhD student. Like I said, and in order to enter an MD-PhD program, you have to take the MCAT. And um, so what we're going to do in this video is that we're going to talk about a little bit about when to take it, about the format, about what resources to use. So we'll start first with um, what programs can you apply to when you take the MCAT. So I think the MCAT is administered by the AAMC. Uh, the AAMC is the American Association for Medical Colleges. And the American Association for Medical Colleges um, basically oversees all medical colleges in the United States um, and also in the territories as well, such as Puerto Rico. Um, so um, basically you can apply to every med school or every MD program that accepts the double AMC after taking the MCAT. And the basically with the MCAT is first a standardized test, of course. Um, so there's a lot of multiple choice in this test. It has changed a lot in the um, five years, six years that I took it. So I took it in 2014, but now it's a longer test. So for example, I think that um, most of you are familiarized with the SAT or the ACT for my uh, for the people in Puerto Rico, um, I think they're familiar is more with the um, PEAU the, in the College Board. So this is a little bit different. Um, it's an hour, it's a day long exam. So um, be prepared to spend seven hours approximately um, with the, um, in the exam center. And it um, includes a bunch of multiple choice questions of course during those seven hours and a lot of people recommend to um, to prepare for at least 240 300 hours so um, it's a lot of um, testing right so it is broken in four sections it is biology and biochemical foundations and then chemical and, phys and physical foundations psychological um, foundations and biology foundations of behavior and also critical analysis and reasoning skill so four um, um, four sections and um, you know um, I think this is a bit different from when I took it when I took it there was no psychology section so there was not a lot of um, uh, human behavior science um, I think this is a, actually people are finding this pretty useful to boost their scores and uh, increase a little bit the score. I don't know if this is true or not, but um, from what I know is that people um, are not liking it because it is a long test, but there is definitely um, a component that this adds that um, is um, useful as well. So what it is required um, to know based on those four sections. So basically, I think you should be able during your college uh, preparation, during your bachelor preparation, you should be able to take uh, or you must take a class in um, organic chemistry, general chemistry, um, general biology for sure. Um, also take some classes in psychology, maybe sociology as well. So these are classes that may be able to help you uh, to prepare for this test, but you need to a lot, you need to separate some time to prepare for this test. It is not enough to um, go with these classes and take the examination. You need to take some time to prepare for this test. And I think this is the most difficult part um, because you are doing your undergraduate you're also wanting to go to medical school or MD PhD schools which means that you have to volunteer you have to shadow uh, physicians but for sure you need to make some time to study for this test in my case I um, 
the summer research during the summer, of course, um, but also I try to prepare a little bit for the MCAT during that time as well. So I think um, that is the most challenging thing. And another challenging thing during your preparation time is that there's a lot of resources. So my recommendation is that you pick one resource or one or two resources that are your main resource and you basically use those resources throughout your preparation time and do not distract yourself with other resources. So that is tremendously, tremendously important um, because that will help you focus. During that time as well, you need to be able to take some practice exams. It is really important to take practice exams because that will um, help you with how to administer time, how to uh, um, interact with the interface of the examination, um, how to pick different answers and how to highlight different things. So it is really important you, you take at least some time to take some exams, practice exams. Um, I think there is a lot of um, um, courses that um, are able to help you to prepare for these. There's the Pierce, Princeton, Kaplan, um, others. Um, I think those are useful uh, probably, but I think the most useful thing is to create your own schedule and um, to be able to use those one or two resources that you're going to use. Now, that being said, it is important that you understand that every person is unique and you need to identify what is best for you. I think what is best for me is that I prepare my own schedule and then I will study, I will study based on that using differences, different resources. But maybe you're more um, a, a person that needs more classroom time. So if you're a person that learns more in the classroom, then you definitely need to go from it for one of these resources such as Princeton and Kaplan. They do offer um, classroom experiences and then it is nice because then you will be able to see other people going through this process. And I think that's really important because it's really easy to isolate yourself. But if you are like me, then you will create your own schedule and study based on that. There is a resource called Crime Fighter, um, and I will put the link down in the description of this video. Um, it is very useful, I think. Um, it creates a schedule based on the resources you're going to use, and Crime Fighter is unique um, in those terms because they have like the pages numbers for a particular section that you need to um, cover and uh, in that book that you're using or resource that you're using and um, they have all information there. I also think that now the um, there's an organization called UWAR and I will also put the link down in the description um, and UWAR is, uh, I learned about UWAR in medical school for um, uh, I took, when I was taking the step one, but I think they now have um, Q banks, question banks for the MCAT exam. I think that will be really useful if there was um, some questions that you will be able to do um, during your exam preparation time um, that are not particularly um, in those tests. And I think they also provide explanation as to why the answer you pick is right or wrong. So that is really important to read through those explanations um, if, if the case is that the MCAT has a similar format for the step one, then there will be explanations. And that's actually the most crucial part that you go through those explanations because going through those will help you to study as well. So basically make sure that you check that research. I think it will be a really important research it will allow you to practice and also to learn at the same time. So um, when you are um, in the exam, then just make sure that you relax, uh, you're relaxed and then bring some really good lunch and bring some really good snacks. Try to, um, when you take a practice exam at home, try to um, be as similar as possible as to the exam day per se. So make sure that you eat at almost the same time, you wake up at almost the same time, 
you finish the exam with the exact same pace. So try to make sure you do that because that will really help you to uh, during the exam day. So I hope this video helps um, to better prepare for the MCAT. The MCAT is a really challenging test that all of you um, can prepare to it and can achieve a good score. Um, I'm sure your question about score um, is there in your mind. Um, worry about achieving your best. Uh, but also keep in mind that different schools have different scores, uh, medians and mean. So if you want a particular school, a particular school, then try to achieve for that score, of course. Um, but try to achieve as uh, much as you can in terms of score. Um, but I hope that this video helps again, and uh, we'll see each other again in one of my next videos.